Amazing Grace is another Percy Spasmo Toy Story. Yay! Amazing Grace is another Percy Spasmo Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Amazing Grace is another Percy Spasmo Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of Passport toys. Yeah, baby! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring Percy's Passport toy story. And so for today, we have this <laughs> amazing toy and I can't wait to tell you, okay? It's a very small one but it packs a lot of punch, I mean. Well, you be the judge, okay? Our toy for today is none other than... Ta -da -da -da. Ooh, look at that. It is a bottle cap. As you will notice, it's a Pepsi bottle cap. But it has something very special. Look at that on top. It's a toy of bust of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay, this is great. Wow, pretty awesome. And then if you try to look at the bottom, you will see the details of the toy, like for example, the, the name of the bus. And then, um, yeah, of course, we will see there that it was made by Pepsi. And these were once readily available in 7-Eleven Japan. So you can simply buy a Pepsi and then also get a pack of Pepsi containing bottle caps with the bust of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Wow, pretty awesome. Wow. Now if you notice, this uh, particular version of Obi-Wan Kenobi was the younger version of Obi-Wan played by Ewan McGregor in the trilogy, the prequel trilogy of the Star Wars. Okay, <laughs> this is great. Look at the base, the continents. It's like a wax uh, sculpture. It's so perfect, very uncannel uncanny replication of Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Even if it's a bust and it's so minuscule, uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful collectible. <laughs> yeah. And people will immediately recognize uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi upon seeing this particular bottle cap. And, uh, but the older version of uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi was actually played by Alec Guinness. And did you know that Alec Guinness I think his name was Alec Guinness, actually was nominated for an, an Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actor. Wow, imagine that. He could have won the Oscars for Star Wars. That, that would be a first for the, for the actors in Star Wars. I mean, normally we just get it for entertainment, but as far as theatrical and award uh, uh, possibilities for the actors, uh, it seems so far-fetched. It seems like a uh, pipe dream. So I guess it was a first for Alec Guinness from the Star Wars actors uh, to actually snag for himself even just a nomination for the Academy Awards. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, so this is Obi-Wan Kenobi. As we all know, this uh, was the apprentice of Ki Gon Jin, uh, played by... Um, who's the actor? I forgot. Uh, the one from Schindler's List. Yeah, okay, Kigon Jin. Yeah, he was an apprentice. He was actually the one who sort of defeated um, uh, Dark Maul. Okay, and then of course when uh, Dark Maul uh, killed uh, Kigon Jin, his master, he eventually took uh, it upon himself to actually train Anakin Skywalker as he is an apprentice also of Kigon Jin. Uh, who himself, I mean Kigun Jin believes that Anakin Skywalker would be the, the messiah or the savior to put the balance in the Empire. Okay, so uh, Ewan, Ewan McGregor's character sort of believed his master Kigun Jin, so Obi-Wan Kenobi took in his fold Anakin Skywalker. And then eventually also, especially when uh, Anakin went to the dark side and became the dark leader, he also mentored the offspring of Anakin Skywalker in the person of uh, Luke Skywalker. Okay, so this is a pretty amazing and awesome uh, character. And the fact that um, 
he had such a cultural impact, um, it's no wonder that we would see him being parodied in all sorts of television shows. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I've seen a couple of uh, parodies about him in The Simpsons, in The Family Guy, and all of these cartoons. I think I was able to to write some of those uh, parodies. In Super Mario's, uh, we've seen a parody of uh, Luke Skywalker. I mean, <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then also in uh, uh, The Animaniacs. Yeah, <laughs> this is proof positive that indeed, uh, uh, I mean, Obi Wan Kenobi has created such an immense impact in our society. So much so that when you talk about Obi Wan Kenobi, you can refer, uh, you can use it as a metaphor or as a simile <laughs> to being intelligent and wise and a masterful teacher. Okay. So, I think there was a time that I have a colleague who used to call our teacher Obi-Wan Kenobi and I believe that is one uh, amazing compliment uh, to be had. Okay, now I'm gonna say this is just an amazing grace. So once again guys, let's try to be thankful to God for all the amazing grace to come to our lives beating the form of a bottle cup bust of Obi-Wan Kenobi from Pepsi and 7-Eleven Japan. An amazing toy and a great addition to my Percy's Fastboot toy collection. Or also be thankful for every amazing grace, be they small or big, be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones, or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly. And I thank you guys for always tuning in to Percy's Fastboot Toy Story. Thank you to the new subscribers. Please spread the word. Tell your friends to subscribe because we still have a lot more Percy's Fast with Toy Stories of my sleeves. So until the next one, bye bye and see you around. Bye bye. Here's Obi Wan Kenobi.